Okay, here's the uh, here's the wing glued on to it, just like this. Now you can kind of take your your duck and just sort of hit the high places. I'm gonna make this neck just a little bit. Now I do not recommend super glue. Okay, I don't recommend super glue. Use a good glue. Uh, an Elmer's uh, Carpenter's glue or tie bond or something like that because I, I just don't like super glue. I, I really don't. I, I, now, no, don't get me wrong. Super glue is okay for, for small stuff, but when you, it's got to stay on the thing. Let it dry good. Put it on. Let it dry good. And then kind of, I'm just kind of carving around here a little bit, just kind of hitting these high points. And go to the, the uh, like the wing here. And just kind of just round this off just a little bit on the top up here just like that same thing on back here just you know because when we we set it it's going to be like this in other words he's going to be kind of like in flight like this in other words where the little thing will go in here and he'll be in, in that way. Now, of course, those people that have carved ducks before, they know that you can use a wood burner and you can put the feathers in the detail and stuff. And in that book, it has the detail that you can put in it. In other words, you can copy the detail and things like that. Now, I cannot send you this pattern. This pattern is from a book, okay? I can't send you this pattern. This pattern is from a book and, and you need to uh, find your own pattern or whatever in other words because uh, I, you know this is a, this book here uh, it belongs to Anthony Hillman and I cannot take his patterns and send them to you. You have to uh, uh, you have to buy the book or find some more patterns but this is, if you can find this book it is wonderful carving decorative miniature ducks and uh, it's a wonderful uh, book by Anthony Hillman and because um, uh, there's there's copyright laws on that in other words so don't don't, don't email me and ask me for the pattern uh, I cannot give it to you uh, but if you can find a book or know someone that has it you can get a pattern off of it or if you're a pretty good drawer I know you can draw your own duck but but uh, I just I bought that book a long time ago. I guess it's still in, in publishing. I'm sure it is. Um, okay, I'm gonna go up here to the. Now let me get my. Uh, uh, Let me get my little V tool. I'm just going to take it and kind of along the bill here and just sort of make my little bill just like that. There it is. Just kind of make my little. And then I, I meant to do that. <laughs> Oh boy, you young ones, you got good hands. Me, I'm getting older and older when my hands don't work like they used to anymore. Okay. Let me get this head down just a little bit more in this area. See, with the wings on it, you can kind of get a general idea of what you want. Okay. And uh, on the eyes, I'm just going to kind of, like this, I'm just going to kind of put a little cut in here on those eyes. There we go. Nothing big. Come on the other side, kind of come down. There you go. Just like that. Now, if you've got some, if you've got some glass eyes or something like that, you can do that. I'm not going to get into that uh, real heavy. 
I'm not a, I'm not a, an excretive duck carver as a lot of people are. I mean, there's some beautiful, beautiful carvers who can carve some of those intricate ducks. This is more for play. This is more for just enjoying yourself. Carve you a little duck, in other words, and we're putting flying. And I'm going to paint him. I'm going to paint him, but... Uh, Okay, we're getting there, folks. Well, he's almost done. See, all I did was take the other wing, just carve it, and then come with the little piece inside here, and I put the wings together. Now, if if you want if you want the wings to to fit down, uh, I'm just, I made these wings basically straight, where we would we would come in. Well, he would be flying like this, in other words, with his wings out straight. But you can make them where they they uh, they bend down or or whatever. Like when they're going to land, you know how the wings are 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 down. Like and then you would take it and you would carve from the top and then from the bottom both, and you would you would make that wing the wings swing down, in other words. But if you can find that book, it's a wonderful book, wonderful little projects to do. But this is just a good little project that we're doing right now. <sighs> okay, he's just about done. You know, he really is. See him? And like I said, I want to put a little thing through here where he's sort of uh, flying like this, in other words. Let me wet him a little bit. Get a better look at him. I'm going to clean you up a little bit. But see that? There he is. Look at that. And I'm going to paint him. And uh, he's not going to be, you know, I'm not a great duck painter. But uh, this is a fun little project to do. Cute little project to do. And uh, this is it. That's a little flying duck. So that's our little project. And uh, he's been a lot of fun. And you paint that up, like I said, and I'm going to paint him up and, and put a little uh, uh, little wire through him where he's kind of flying at an angle like that. So, anyway. Okay, well, that's our little project right there. And uh, the reason I didn't carve the other... Um, I didn't carve the other wing is because, basically, when you learn to carve one wing, you can carve the other one just the same, in other words. And uh, when I showed you how to put it inside of the... The, the duck itself, then uh, inside the duck, and if you look at him from his side, he looks good. So, okay, that's our little project, little flying duck. And, and the book, again, folks, remember, is Anthony Hillman, excuse me, Carving Decorative Miniature Flying Ducks. And it's got all the patterns and all the instructions that we just performed. I, I think this book, I don't know when it was... Uh, Dover Publications Incorporated of New York and it was published in 1991 folks so uh, um, it, it probably on eBay or Wood Carving Illustrated might still have it or whatever but it's a neat little book with all the patterns for all different types of ducks and uh, uh, flying ducks and stuff like that and as you can see on the front this guy was a super painter you know, he really knew how to paint ducks and stuff. I'm not that good, but we're, we're just winged, as we, we possibly say. So, God bless you now, and that's our little project. It's been fun.